Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a hair dryer using the part design and wireframe and surface design workbench in Katia V5. So we are at the fourth part of the tutorial and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design this particular portion right here and let's see how we can go ahead with the design so I'll just switch back to the uh, the part we are working on and the first thing you need to do is select the sketcher and uh, invoke the XY plane and I'm gonna uh, create this sketch right here so for doing that just just simply uh, if you want you can actually select this and project it and make it as uh, uh, the dotted lines and then what you can really do is you can actually put a line like this right and connect them using construction lines alright now see the angle see the angle over here is 82 degrees so just I'll take the inverse of it so I'll just over here just give the angle as 98 degrees and this particular distance has 35 and then what you're gonna do now is uh, gonna give some circles just analyze the drawing you must be thinking why I'm doing it uh, inverse uh, because uh, this is the easy way to understand the drawing so if you really uh, you know analyze it in the other way you'll get the answer for yourself so just give the radius as uh, 6 here so once we give that uh, of radius 6 now we're gonna give this radius so that's gonna be the radius 9 here and uh, the next one that's of uh, radius 4.5 and you can actually uh, use the selection and bring them all closer kind of closer like this and then give uh, tangency make sure you're making it closer because sometimes it really goes and snaps on the point where you really don't want them to get snapped so you got this particular portion aligned like this so once that is done just trim the trim off this particular portion here you will understand that I'll explain you why after a minute and I'm gonna give this uh, uh, fillet over here so that's actually gonna be 7 so you can see once I gave that chamfer the line over here goes off so that's the reason I've, go I've given a discontinuity over here because I get the line remaining line over here so that's really not got a big trouble so if, if you do that it's gonna uh, cut you some steps so radius 7 and uh, give the shame for on the sides too of radius 12 and now you just trim off the remaining stuff whatever you don't want and some dimensioning work is remaining so that's actually from this center to you can see here is 25 so you can see the complete sketch turns to green and it's a good to go so if your sketch is not green like this make sure you make them green and uh, that's all and we got this particular sketch here complete and then what you need to do is you need to insert a plane here so I'm gonna show you show that in the next tutorial because it's gonna be uh, this much is gonna be enough for this particular part 
and if you have any doubts you can comment below on this video and I'll be getting in touch with you and uh, you can write to me at kitya.pro.user for uh, any CAD related helps or if you want me to take up any projects etc and uh, that's all for today stay tuned thank you for watching